Hey, Cassie, what are you doing? I'm checking on our nematodes. Nematodes? What are those? They are these amazing uh, soil-borne um, little critters that actually go through and they take care of grubs and anything else that has a larval stage inside the soil. So cool. yeah, they're really cool. If you want to see, see them? Of course, just look, uh, take a gander right in there. All right, we're gonna do that. Well, let's see, maybe. Let's see, let's see. Oh, kinda. There we go, there they are. Those are all beneficial nematodes. They're moving. They are moving. So they actually swim through the water and the soil and then they go find their target host. Oh my goodness. And then they go inside and they release this crazy enzyme that actually like liquefies the protein so that when they lay their eggs, their little babies can then eat the like grub or whatever, whatever it is on the inside out and then millions of them burst forth. Oh my goodness. So starting from this one little packet that we have, which just seems insane, they're gonna keep on multiplying and going and going and taking care of your grub problem so long as your soil is moist. So if we uh, run into dry issues like we had recently, um, where the, the soil starts getting dry, drier, you might wanna irrigate your soil just to make sure that there's that water for them to move through. So the way that we apply these is, let me get it back out here, you take this little blue sponge and then you wring it up in a bucket of clean water. If your water is kind of chlorinated, have the bucket of water, let it sit out overnight for about 24 hours. That allows the chlorine to evaporate, then you're ready to go. So once you wring it out really well in this water, that's your concentrate. From there, you're gonna put in a sprayer like this one here, the chameleon. I like this one because with the nematodes, you want between one to four ounces of that concentrate going out at once. And if you look, we have these handy dandy little dials on here. So you could choose one ounce or two ounce all the way up to four ounces. And it has this handy little quick release so it's easier to put on your hose. Oh, good. So on days and weather like we're having with all of this rain and the soil is nice and moist, now is the perfect time to put down these nematodes to deal with grubs, uh, flea beetles, fleas themselves, and tons and tons of other uh, garden pests that you normally be, you know, cursing at this point in the year. Um, and it really helps to knock down those populations for next year so you have a better start. Awesome. So if I noticed, like in my yard, I noticed raccoons or something digging up an area in the mm -hmm. lawn. I probably have grubs there. You probably do, but you want to, you know, kind of cut in, look underneath the soil and see that there's actually grubs there because you don't want to put down something if you don't have it to take care of. Right. Okay. I'm going to go home and check that area. Thank you so right. much for showing me those. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.